Hey guys, this is 182. Welcome back to. Oh, wait, this isn't RuneScape. This is Punch Club. Um. Yeah, between. Basically, either RuneScape and or my internet have conspired such that I cannot play RuneScape more than two minutes at a time. So, um. Yeah, no, RuneScape until I can get that fixed. Uh, in the meantime, I mean, it feels like it's been a month, so I figure I should upload something. So, here's a game that actually has been letting me play it. Punch Club! The Dark Fist. Dark Fist is just an expansion on Punch Club, it's not actually part of the title. <clears throat> in which you play a boxer. Technically, even though, like this guy here, kicks people with poison and has them punch themselves in the face. <laughs> but yeah, your goal is to become the best, the best fighter, and then beat some mutants, rescue your cat, become an even better best fighter, and then find the guy who killed your dad and beat him up. Yeah. So, options are super easy. Uh, which is... a little bit less grindy. I kind of wish there was a midway between easy and normal. So, like... Like, one that has uh, slower decay rather than no decay. You'll see about it when I get there. Um... Uh, yeah, let's go chalky. Instead of chalky, just doesn't sound as good. I and mean, yeah, you're 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 rocky. Text is a bit faster than I can really. So, I like to mention, we're MMA artists, and there's a katana. This is what happens when you bring MMA to a weapons fight. Get shot through the heart. If he had just brought his katana, then he could have cut that bullet in half, and then it would have missed his vital organs. Hello? Still sleeping? Get your lazy butt off the couch and go to work. How's that for plan? Okay, Frank, let's do it. I do not have a good Rocky voice. It might slip into Yogi Bear. Great, left a newspaper on the table. Oh, no thinking about jobs. I need to work out and have breakfast. Get my priorities straight. I should do some push ups. Because that's all I can do here. See those bubbles? Those are stat experience. They increase strength, agility, or stamina. Depending on their color, I'll let you figure out which one is which. There should be some food in the fridge. Pizza. Okay, now I'm ready to find a job. Let's look at the newspaper. Not the best job? Let's do it! Uh, before I do... I'm just gonna eat this pizza, because I always forget that I can do that. Ah, let's drink the soda. The soda's gonna annoy me otherwise. Alright, off to work. Nothing bad will happen on the way to work. 
I need to close Luke's motorcycle. Yep! It doesn't really matter what you do. What happens if I... You're not fast enough for, to run away. You have to fight. Clippy, who has clearly seen better days. Pl oh, dang. Oh, no. I got a horrible loadout. I'll admit I tried recording this before. And my software crashed. I had the best setup, which is kick and dodge. Punch and kick is probably the second worst you can get. Uh, in my opinion, the worst is probably punch and block. Anyway, so our stats are ones. He has an, he has eight strength, five agility, three stamina. I think we can take him. Also, we have seventy-one hit with forty-one hit points, nine hit points, and he has hundred forty-eight. I actually managed to hit him. My reward was minus 12. And you can see... <laughs> I like that description. A hit batsman. Very powerful. So, I had a 50% chance of using either of them. My only successful technique was a punch. I should train hard. saw your fight that was pretty impressive uh, these do matter if you choose right hook your punches are better if you choose legs your kicks are better if you choose quick you take more damage but dodge more often since this is a one-off since this is probably a one-off unless you guys like it in which case please let me know and like it and comment and subscribe this is subscribing has nothing to do with whether I do it more, unless you subscribe and then comment saying I subscribe because I want to see more of this. And if you don't like it, dislike it because that helps the channel too. And comment about how bad this is because that also helps the channel. And subscribe because just subscribe. And I'm going with the, with the, uh, with the strong arms from helping mom carry the groceries home. Scratch yourself up and come to my office, then we'll have a talk. It'd be great if you could visit Apu at a store. Tell him that I still haven't gotten my meat delivery. So, game wants you to go here. Don't. Go to the grocery store first. It takes one time to get there and two time to get to the office. And it takes one time to get from here to the office. So, in the same amount of time, I can tell him that Mick needs his delivery, buy a slice of frozen pizza, uh, no, buy two slices of frozen pizza, I'm gonna have to buy a third eventually, and meet Mick. I told you before that you have potential, I can make you a champion. It's a long road and you have to take the first step yourself. There's an amateur fight league in my friend's gym. If you can prove your worth, I will train you. Go to Silver's gym. You can work out there if you're tired of doing it at home. If you're short on money, come to me and I'll feed you. But I'll only do it three times because I'm not a charity. And when he feeds you, you get 40 food. So here we have health. Health is 89%. So my hit points are 67. I get 89. I get 89 percent of my health in a fight. 62 percent food. Uh, food drains when sleeping or working or uh, working out. Mood. Uh, everything. Basically, everything affects mood, either positively or negatively. Uh, sleeping, eating, training, winning fights all boost your mood. Losing fights, eating certain foods, um, and working lower your mood. 
energy. Uh, you get energy by sleeping or drinking energy drinks. Uh, or a couple of other minor ones that I don't ever bother with. Uh, and is decreased by working, uh, working out. That, that, I think that's it. Uh, your health decreases based off of how much damage you took in a fight with a multiplier based on what kind of fight it is. If I continue this series, uh, I will, you will see how that really affects things. Time to go to the gym! Hi, Mick said that I can train in your gym. Hmm, Big Mick, I thought he didn't care about boxing anymore. I am Silver, I guess you can try here. For now, at least. I think Mick told you about our rookie league. You're welcome to participate. Looks like you know how to fight. Do you want to spar with me? There, there's no reason not to. Look at this fight. Look how intense. I can't affect it at all. So let's just multiply it speed by four. So you can see the active skills. Uh, I did not mention energy. Each action takes energy. If you, uh, if you run out of energy and your opponent hits you, they do more damage and you get knocked down. Which gives your opponent some health and a lot of energy back and you stand back up with, le with uh, a very small amount of energy. So if you get knocked down, odds are you're going to get knocked down repeatedly and you're just done. Uh, you win a fight either by reducing your opponent's HP to zero, or at the end of the final round having more hit points than your opponent. He has more hit points than I started with, so even if I manage to dodge every technique with the dodge skill that I don't have, I still wouldn't have won. Okay, yeah. So you can see skill breakdowns. I don't normally bother. I lost 8 energy and gained 5 mood, but, I mean, the mood doesn't matter at the moment. Uh, because your mood is already high. You can sign up for a league fight. Always sign up. Even if you lose, you get a skill point. If you win, you get 3. Same story with sparring with silver. You lose, you get one point. You win, you get three. It costs $20. It costs $10 to go into the gym, but I don't have the food or energy to make it worthwhile. What it is worthwhile is spending $15 on hand pads training. I don't know if it's possible to win by uh, knockout. I have never successfully done it. But no matter what happens, you win, and you get two skill points. It's guaranteed two skill points. Now, you really need Tactics Learner. However, I need to, to have a chance of winning fights, so I'm getting Dodge. Alright, I have now... That's, all right, let me head back home. Uh, rest up. Uh, hopefully my recording software doesn't pick up that malware bytes finish it, finished its scan. Eat a pizza. And another one, because I need food. I mean, money. And it's time to work at the construction job takes a while, takes a lot of food and energy, and it really drains your happiness. But, as you can see, actually you can't see because I did some push-ups on day one too, but uh, you may have noticed red and green bubbles. This 
trains your strength and stamina. It's not a good way to train your strength and stamina, it's just a way. And you get paid. Just make sure you don't carry more than $150 on you at any given time. Because if you do, you can and will get mugged. Well, it's day two, so let's go back to the gym. Do some more hand pads. You can do it once a day. But, um... Not... Not... Like, in... When, as soon as it turns day three, I can't do it. It has to be most of a day. Tactics Learner, we can actually see what all these abilities do now. Um, then, to the grocery store. Could have sworn I only had four pizza. I guess I did have five pizzas. Okay. It's supposed your that dialogue is supposed to trigger when you get when you uh, have five frozen pizzas. It opens up the other option for work. Um, which is, in my opinion, much better than construction work. Hi, a proof from the store told me you have vacancy. I think he's supposed to have like a Brooklyn accent, but I can't do that at all. Sounds good to me. So, first off, you can order pizza or shrimp pizza. Um, don't bother with shrimp pizza. Just the four happiness isn't worth it. Getting regular pizza is good enough. But even that, not until you really start rolling in the dough. Pun not intended. So, pizza delivery. You only get 30, but if you'll notice, it's faster. I don't train any of my stats. So, as you'll see, I have lost more strength experience and agility experience and stamina experience than I gained today. So at the construction job, I gained five and seven, but I lost nines across the board. So I so overall, I went minus four, minus nine, minus two. You can't get below zero experience at level one. Uh, you will always have at least ones across the board uh, as your stats increase. You lose more per day, and it's harder to gain. But, well, for right now, I need the money. Uh, I shouldn't quite have enough yet. I shouldn't have quite enough to... Um, I could do the fight now. In fact, there's really not a reason not to. I can't get any of my stats up high enough because I have to rest. So, when you go to the fight... First off, your first fight is against Song Mo. Oh yeah, abilities. Punches, kicks, defense, punch mod uh, attack modifiers, defense modifiers, battle styles. So you can see my kick does three damage at 60 accuracy for one stamina, compared to a punch does two damage at 90 accuracy for one stamina. So the kick is less accurate. Um, um, ah, let's use the punch. And the dodge takes, right now, just one stamina each time I try it. My opponent has the same punch. They have a block, which is garbage. Okay, it might not be. There are people who have tried block builds. If you, if you build around block... You can do stuff with it, but don't. Just, just don't. So I should win this fight because my 
because dodge is better than block, and they call and cost the same energy, and we have otherwise the same stats. But it'll be a close fight. And again, as a, there's nothing you can do to influence a fight once you're at the fight. Uh, if I had more skills, I could swap out skills. Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to swap out to kick, see if I can do a little bit more damage. I, I love those awkward pauses in fights where they're just staring at each other. Because of the animation, they're literally just kind of just standing there. Not like planning anything, not like moving around, just standing there. They're like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Do they still make those? I mean, they still probably make the, the toy type. I just don't know if it's still Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Alright, switching to kick was a bad idea. Maybe. It, it really doesn't matter. It's more or less a coin toss as to whether we win or lose. Technically... Oh my word. Technically, I'm doing better right now. Come on. Punch him. Yeah, I knocked him over. So you see, I got a lot of energy. Okay, you don't get health. I thought you got health. Maybe it's only in certain fights, like endurance fights. And he has very little energy. Now there's a slight problem. That doesn't matter because the first person to land a punch wins. Okay, I thought it dealt two damage. Apparently it dealt one. So, minus 40% health, but three skill points. So, I mean, I'm not spending it because I want uppercut. Um, and the advantage of... Oh, no, 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 it's boring fight. Yeah, see, it hasn't been long enough to do the hand pads training. But, uh, no matter where you are, um, you warp to the gym when you go to the fight. Oh. I should also probably mention the food types. Steak. Uh, th this is tutorial that I've already explained. Um, steak heals the most... Er, gives the most food for the money. The... Uh, the pizza gives the most health for the money. The soda gives the most energy... Uh, gives the most... Uh, happiness for the money, so it's pretty darn worthless. And energy drinks restore energy, but are cost inefficient until you start getting loads and loads of money. So, yeah, don't try to re train all three stats. Try to train one and have a secondary. Strength increases your damage, but also increases energy consumption. Agility increases accuracy and dodge. Stamina, increased energy regen, and damage absorption. So, no matter your build, you basically need agility, and you need stamina. If you want to be strength or stamina focused, you need strength. If you want to be agility focused, you never, ever, ever want to increase your strength. Uh, however, with a proper setup, a good strength stamina build doesn't need that much agility. So, I mean, they tell you some basic stuff. If you want strength, focus on strength, then stamina, then agility, and go for Way of the Bear for your fighting style. For agility, they lie here. You want agility, stamina, and this should be zero. And you go for Way of the Tiger. For stamina, go stamina and strength and then agility, which is completely fair. And, the, and you should choose the style Way of the Turtle. Which, fun fact, the uh, there's an 
there's a strike called bear strike or bear attack or something and it's in the way of the turtle not the way of the bear uh, yeah these graphs are slightly misleading because uh, what really happens is as you learn more skills you win more then you plateau and you might get it and then you might go up depending on your build for your stats you go up you plateau and then eventually the stats are what matters and this is an accurate representation of what happens in this game so I'm gonna say that's okay. before I end things off showing off uh, sleeping as you can see it greatly decreases your food but it increases everything else most importantly energy for quite a while it will be your only method of restoring energy you do not want to buy energy drinks uh, what's my food at food at 24 uh, 64 so I don't really want to get another one last thing to show off is with the training. So you see the bubbles, they go up. Now, in this game, you can't just do the same exercise over and over and over and over and over again forever. Eventually, that happens. You get partial experience, and it decreases the more you do it. The only way to make your training efficient again is to have enough time pass. And if you let it get down to zero, you completely stop the exercise. And I think uh, the, the longer you are in that partial air zone, the longer it takes before you can really use that exercise again. Ultimately, You'll want four different exercises to guarantee that that you can always train at max efficiency. But if you're really, really careful, you can train at max efficiency with just three uh, three exercises. In fact, until the end game, uh, three and then sleeping occasionally is is perfectly fine. It's what I normally do. Of course, we have one exercise, and going to the gym costs 10 money, and we just don't have the money to do that right now. But after healing up, and you know what? I didn't mention what the bus does. The bus, you pay money to not have time pass. It's not worth it for uh, until you have a lot of money. Well, let's end things off with some hand patch training, which, if I recall correctly, is the only one round fight in the game. Sorry, the only one round fight that is explicitly a one round fight. There are two unwinnable fights yeah there are, there are two unwinnable fights that end in the first well uh, in the first round just by virtue of being unwinnable anyway I think that's going to be it I'm not showing off the gym if you guys want to see more of this let me know in the comments like this if you don't want to see more comment below and dislike it and no matter what subscribe because the algorithm demands that you subscribe the algorithm is the reason that I'm is is the reason I scrambled to pull something together for today but for now this has been 18 2 and I will see you guys next time